In 1931, in the hills of Franklin County, Virginia, if you wanted the best moonshine, you saw the Bondurants. And Lawless, a big time city guy, decides he's going to take over the moonshine operation in those hills, and he learns a hard truth. You don't mess with the Bondurants. We find out early on why our three brothers are feared and respected. Well, why two of them are feared and respected. The younger brother, not so much. They have been running moonshine in these hills for a long time. It's a family tradition, and they've got ties to big city mafia. When the attorney for the Commonwealth of Virginia comes in and wants to control all the moonshine, he's got law enforcement on his side, but the Bondurants aren't caving in. Now it's outlaws versus the law that are being criminals and all bets are off when a special deputy comes in to handle the problem and he is a raving psychopath. The brothers have to deal with him, They have to deal with old enemies, still keep their business going while at the same time trying to remember what it's all about, family. With moonshiners versus bad cops, you'd expect this movie to be an action film, but it's not. This is definitely a drama. The story is really is how this family comes together to survive this situation and remain true to who they are. We also get a story about this younger brother trying to live up to the reputation of his two older brothers that are just epic, not only in their violence, but also in the performances bringing them to life, thanks to Jason Clark and the always epic himself, Tom Hardy. Shia LaBeouf plays that younger brother, and he's good, but he's just not as good as the guys playing his brothers. The rest of the cast is filled out with some amazing character performances, including Guy Pearce as our big bad guy, and the script falls just in the mode of drama where we get some sudden, violent action, and at the same time, we get deep story, good acting, and compelling drama. Lawless is a nice layered drama that just is punctuated by moments of sudden violence. It's the story of an outlaw family trying to defend itself against corrupt policemen. You're going to find yourself rooting for the lesser of two evils here and enjoying a pretty damn good movie.